when I made the first solutions to this problem, I didn't realise how difficult it was to find the exact position of this operating line because I worked on some previous solutions. But uh, on closer inspection and following from some questions from students, uh, I've made this short supplementary video to show you how to get past this stage of the solution, which is finding this operating line. And in particular, the endpoints of the operating line because they correspond to the overall mass balance for the cascade for component A. So with the information that we're given in the problem, all we know is that this endpoint of the operating line must correspond to XA equals 100 because that is our feed to the column. And we know that at this point of the operating line, we know that the Y coordinate must be zero because the solvent fed to the cascade has no component A in it. The other piece of information we have, of course, is the slope of the operating line. So we know that that slope is given by the ratio of the two flow rates, which is 5 over 12. However, we can actually construct multiple operating lines that satisfy those three conditions. So these operating lines all have an endpoint at x a equals 100. They all have an endpoint here with y a equal to 0. And they all have the same slope. So which of them is correct? Well, the final piece of information that allows us to determine the exact position of our operating line is that we have three equilibrium stages. And so if we take any one of these operating lines and step off the number of ideal equilibrium stages required to reach the endpoint, we will find that only this one, the black one, satisfies that condition.